Well, we're back with Dr. Martinez. Dr. Martinez, answer me this question. Um, sometimes people have a, a missing two for two or three, and frankly, they have it missing for a while, years. And um, usually those teeth are missing in the back, because obviously if, if, if there is a tooth missing in the front, then um, uh, most people try to rush and get it replaced relatively fast, because it, it looks ugly. But, so there's those teeth missing in the back, and it appears that nothing really bad is happening. And yet, dentists keep telling us, you've got to replace those teeth, otherwise all hell breaks loose. Can you shade some light on that? Why do we feel like there's really not all that big of a deal, and yet, apparently, we need to change this and spend some money on it? Well, um, the reason being, and of course you mentioned that, you know, the front we replace, we run and get it, because we don't want to walk out without... Um, any right. of the front teeth. And the back teeth, I, I hear this all the time from people where, oh, it's in the bag, just pull it, people won't notice it. But what happens essentially is that, um, the, the analogy I can give you is that the mouth is um, like a puzzle, a puzzle, a very tight puzzle. Um, when you have all the pieces, it's very tight, it doesn't move. When you start taking pieces out of that puzzle, especially let's say in the middle of that puzzle, what happens, you start getting some movement and you don't get a clear picture. Well, the same thing happens in the mouth. When you start getting, losing pieces of the puzzle, the other pieces have to take, start doing more of the work. Um, the muscles of mastication that we have that actually nobody sees, it, we don't even see, but we feel, are starting to do, actually do more work. The ligaments are, get extended in different ways because actually our jaw is trying to articulate in a different way. So, it, you know, when you say, oh, hell breaks loose, in a matter of speech, I guess it does. Um, in some people, it's a very rapid movement, and in some people, it, it takes years. And what happens is because it takes years to, for you to feel anything or for you to even see any changes, and it's a very slow progressing change, people adapt to that. And then they don't correlate that, oh, you know what, I started having headaches a long time ago, or, you know, my jaw clicks, um, but they don't correlate that to any missing teeth. And that's actually what happens. Um, it's the same thing, you know, I always tell people, and maybe I'm a little... Uh, I exaggerate a little bit, but it's kind of like if you went to the doctor because your finger was hurting and they said, you know, it's broken, uh, and you said, oh, just cut it off because I don't need it. Um, nobody really sees it, and you would never do that. Um, and I, I think that's probably the best example I can give you with the teeth. Um, we're, they're, they're there for a reason. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't, ha we wouldn't have them to begin with. And so it, I, it's the same analogy for me as a right. dentist as that. If we can try to save a tooth, save it. And if we can't, let's replace it as soon as we can. So basically what you're saying, let's see if I got that straight here, is that, so let's assume you have, um, you have a fence and it has like X amount of uh, fence balls in it. And once you take one or two of them out, the fence starts getting shaky and it starts, you know, going all over the place and obviously loses its functions rather fast. Um, uh, you know, or if you have a house and you take a, a few bricks out in, in the wrong places, the, the, the whole structure gets bad. So when that happens, um, you know, not only will you be uh, having lost the tooth you have lost already, and never mind the chewing, which you might not do so well, but people like me, that probably makes no difference, because, you know, my wife, um, uh, you know, I have the steak finished, and my wife just barely has the first bite chewed, you know what I mean? She chews salad, I mean, figures, you know what I mean? She chews salad, yeah? So, uh, but some people like me wouldn't pay attention to the chewing fact, because we probably wouldn't chew anyway, but... All of a sudden, <laughs> other teeth can get loose and now more fall out. Um, and something you very importantly said, you know, and from an engineering viewpoint, I can think with that because, you know, having been a mechanical and machinery engineer, when you have cogwheels which don't work together, it comes to a halt eventually. So if you have the hinges here and things not working, so what you're saying is you get muscle tensions, you might even get headaches, um, and, 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 and you don't necessarily know where it comes from. So you keep popping aspirins and Tylenol when really you, your mouth isn't aligned. Is that kind of what you're saying? Exactly what I'm saying. There's actually a correlation with when teeth are crooked and when teeth are out of alignment. And what happens is when you extract a tooth and you pull a tooth before it's time and you're, you're essentially becoming, getting teeth out of alignment, um, there's a correlation with people having TMJ issues, um, temporal mandibular joint issues. That's headaches, the joint here. Um, the GMJ is the joint here, right? The hinges. Correct. That's the joint. 
Yeah. It's the joints, and so they have, an, they have issues with that, and it's very, very common. But again, people just attribute it to the fact that uh, you, you know, as we're getting older, more stress, more problems, they don't really correlate it to the teeth. It's really interesting to see that people actually do not connect the mouth with the rest of the body. I've been a dentist for 19 years, and I, I hear this all the time. They don't realize how much, how very much connected our oral cavities are to the rest of our, our bodies and um, how very much correlated to a lot of the diseases that are out there, diabetes, heart problems. Um, and and so it's very interesting to see, even in this day and age, with all the, all the information out there that we have. Right, right. Well, because it's just um, a fair amount of laziness. We just, um, and, and uh, as you said, it, in most cases, we love to treat the symptom and not the cause. And the symptom is the headache, the symptom is the shoulder, so it's so easy to blame the pillow, the, the getting old, and uh, and all that stuff. And even though those things might here and there have a, a, you know, a, a, a function in it, a role in it, but so what you're saying, it's, it's prudent and not a bad thing for a guy who, let's say, had one too many headaches, one too many shoulder and neck pain and, uh, you know, muscle spams in that area, um, that he says, you know, Let's check out my mouth and see whether it's properly aligned, regardless of whether it has missing teeth or not. Because I hear that those okay. things can get out of alignment even if you haven't a missing tooth, but so much more if you have missing teeth. Exactly. What happens is the jaw tries to find a place. The ligaments of our jaw, tries, they try to find a place to chew properly. And, the, and in the process, they get super extended or hyper extended, um, and that's causing problems. The same, it, it's the same correlation the same with the knee. If you're constantly putting pressure on a ligament on the knee in the wrong place, what happens? Um, you, your ligaments start uh, deteriorating. So the same thing happens in the joint of our, of our mouth. And so, so again, it's, it's so important that it, it people take care of their teeth and, and their bite and that they replace the teeth that are missing. Right. And your ligament, your, your, your knee, your knee or be it the ankle or the foot should be a good example because, you know, if you're walking like a duck or, or, or you, you're walking like a whatever, like the feet inside, well, eventually your knees will get out of alignments and eventually your hip will get out of alignments and of course you start having back pains. So it's a perfect example that, you know, it, from where you have the problem, it goes on to other areas of life and so with the mouth. Well, thanks a lot, Dr. Martinez. Very informative. I hope people will take you up on um, on such a simple thing. Get your teeth a little bit fixed. Um, whatever little money it costs um, will be worth, well, well worth it in, 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 a, in a better life. I mean, imagine not to have headaches, not to have muscle pains, how much more sleep that must get you. I love it. Of thanks a lot. Of course. Thank you.